Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. I originally had something different planned to post this week, but it didn't work out, and sometimes that happens. So I still wanted to upload something, and I decided why not bring you along with me on a doodle sesh on my iPad in Procreate. I need to make a post for my doodle tier patrons. I'm doing currently a series of desert plant doodle prompts on my Patreon. If you didn't know about that, you can check it out in the link down below. And I apologize in advance if this video is a turd. I promise I will make something better in the upcoming weeks. Maybe if you want to see more of these, let me know. I'll make more of these. And if not, it's okay. Maybe I'll make something better. Anyway, um, let's get into it. Today I'm doodling the letter R, and I have a lot of reference photos that I took from the Desert Botanical Garden. It was actually really fun to research and take photos of the things I'm doodling. So I found this cactus, which does start with an R. It's called a red torch. And now in Procreate, I'm just going to place that Photos app on the left for reference so I can see it while I'm doodling. And I duplicated my previous letter, the letter Q, just so I can have the same canvas size while I doodle the next one. I like to start with a layer of a rough sketch just to work out the shapes so it's not perfect, just really rough. And this cactus is very snake-like, almost like Medusa. So I'm working with that kind of shape in these letter forms. And if you guys want to doodle this along with me, I would love to see your interpretations of this cactus and this letter R. So feel free to doodle this in any medium of your choice and you can share it on my Patreon or tag me on my social links. Now I have my rough sketch to go off of. I reduce the opacity so it's on the bottom layer and then I make a new layer on top of that to make more of the final doodle. I'm using the shale brush in Procreate and the color orange and just going over those shapes to make a more refined doodle. Some of you may already know this, but when you hold down the pencil and procreate while you're drawing a line, if you hold it down, it will make a more refined, correct shape for you. Like it will correct your wiggly lines. Um, I sometimes use that when I'm trying to make a curve like that, but other times I like it when it's more hand-drawn look. So I've been getting away from the more realistic kind of doodling lately and just interpreting things with really simple shapes. So I'm going really simple with this one and there seems to be like a little orange fuzz on top of this cacti so I'm putting that on top of these letter forms and making really simple dashed lines representing the needles. In case you're new to Procreate, I wanted to share this because I think it's a cool feature. If you want to fill in your shapes, you can actually reference one of your drawings below it. So you make that layer a reference and then with your new layer on top of that, pick your color and drag it on and it will reference that bottom layer to fill it in. So now you have the filled in color on its own layer and you don't have to worry about coloring the actual area behind it or messing up your original line art. It's also an easy way to give your art a stamped look, which I might play around with in future projects. But for this one, I feel like coloring in the background, so I made a layer just behind my line art and filled it in. I also like making the color on the outside of the lines, so again, it's kind of messy looking. I don't know why I gravitate toward that style, but I do, and so I did that, and I also like that I can lighten the color and adjust it after I've made it. So I'm going with this shade of green and just filling in the rest of the shapes, the red torch cactus shapes, with that same color. 
When I first started drawing on my iPad, I had to stop myself from rotating my entire iPad to turn my canvas upside down. So you know how you sometimes rotate your paper to draw a curve in a better direction? Well, I, I just kept having to remind myself, I can do that in this program. I can turn it with two fingers. I know I can't be the only one that has done that, but this series of prompts helps me become more familiar with drawing in this program, so it almost becomes second nature. That's my goal, to just feel as comfortable to open this up and draw as I would with a sketchbook. So even though these doodles are really simple and quick, it's giving me more experience and I'm definitely more comfortable in this program as I reach the end of the alphabet. Here I'm using the smudge tool to sort of blend the yellow and green colors. And I'm keeping this pebble shape, which I used on the previous letter, and I might put this on the background of every letter once I print these in some form. If you're new to Procreate, there's also another cool function if you don't know about this. If you want to scale up your canvas, but not your artwork, sometimes it confuses that, so you can hold down the arrow button on the top left, and then you can increase the size of your canvas without scaling up your artwork. It took me a while to find that one, but I use it all the time, and there's actually some good YouTube videos on Procreate shortcuts. I'll link some of my favorite in the description. There's still so many shortcuts that I don't know about, so I'm still learning along the way. This series is also helping me explore my art style or illustration style. Because I've given myself a time limit to complete each one, it kind of forces myself to figure out what I like really quickly to get it done, but also experiment and explore which style I gravitate toward. And at the same time, it helps me become more comfortable in this program. So you can see I started with a very simple style and then I ended up working in my more realistic approach. And then I got a little tired of that and so I kind of reverted back to the more simple style. I've been really into the line art look lately, so I'll show you some of my previous pieces of art that I've made for my Limited Lemon patrons. This was a 5x7 print of an owl that I doodled. And here's a sloth holiday card that I recently made. Still keeping with the simple style, but adding some texture with the brushes. And it's just really fun to experiment in this program. And I'm curious to see where it takes my art. And here is what that card looks like printed, which I sent out to my Limited Lemon patrons. Here's another piece that I want to work on. This was a really rough sketch. I was going to do something like the many faces of Kona because she has so much, so many different expressions and I wanted to doodle that. So maybe you'll see something from this in the future. But I hope you enjoyed this and if you're interested in supporting any of my Patreon or YouTube memberships, I will link those down below. It all goes toward helping me make more content for you guys to watch on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. And I will put some related videos around here if you want to dive into more on my channel. All of these links will be in the description below. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye! Thank you.